Hey guys, Manjame here, and if you're like me, at one point you may have thought, you know, I'm enjoying the PS4, but I'm sometimes finding that I have to choose what ports I'm going to be using, because there's only the two. Kind of wish there were more. Well, I do have something that will fix that, and of course you could use any, pretty much any USB hub that will accomplish the same thing, because this is, all it is, comes down to, USB hub, a 5-in-1 USB hub for the PS4. This one's a little more stylized, and there is uh, some coolness to it, and we'll go over that. Here you just see a picture of the console itself, it really isn't that interesting. But right here you see the item itself, the adapter, the USB hub, if it will focus, okay. And this is how it is installed. It looks kind of weird, kind of, it is, it, it definitely is, and we'll see that a little later. And just some examples of what you can plug in. PS4 controller, headset, PlayStation Eye, not, or, no, sorry, PlayStation Camera. This is PS4. Technically not true, unless that's like a keyboard. It's kind of hard to tell. It just looks black, but I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the camera. Will not work for that. Use a different kind of USB port. A PS3 keypad. I haven't actually tried that on the PS4, though I'm sure... Just to charge it, it'll work fine. And the mouse. Just plug in a USB mouse. Or keyboard, even. That'd be great. That's two ports right there. Two ports. One port. A controller. You know, you're left again with two extra ones, but now you don't have to, you know, swap things out. And, of course, any kind of uh, media player. Movies. Stuff like that. Let's see. Fashion. Perfect. Convenient. Convenient, yes. The rest, not, not as much. Unique design. Definitely unique. And, the best part, it has one USB 3.0 data transmission uh, port. And that'd be, that's great for data and charging otherwise. On the sides, 5.1 USB port for PS4. Same. Same. Blink. Alright, on the back. And here it is. It offers more USB ports for your... PS4 console it can support five USB appliances simultaneously. It contain one USB 3.0 port and four USB 2.0 ports. LED indicator, and that is one strong indicator. And then it has color, size, weight. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to be unboxing it now. And actually, I have been using this a little bit. So this unboxing is more just to show you guys how it, how it comes packaged. And it is very simply packaged. And this is it. It was in plastic inside this box with nothing else in it. So that's pretty much it. The device itself. Top right here. Very much stylized after the PS4. You've got all your ports. The white ones are... 2.0, this blue one, 3.0, and then your LED indicator is right there. Sides, pretty basic. Bottom, has a little rubber feet, which we'll get into why this is a little unnecessary and weird later. And on the back, this raised edge is just so it sits flush, and the two ports. Alright, now to install it onto the PS4 console, very simple, you find your two ports, make sure you unplug everything that's already plugged in or you will not be able to do this, and you just plug it in. And actually I'm in standby mode, so it already has power to it. So what I will do now is I'll be right back and we'll plug in some stuff. I've plugged in four USB controllers, they happen to be move controllers, to here, ports one, two, three, and four. And we'll install it. Very simple installation. There is actually an indention here for this. Or this is actually made for that. And two ports. And they're spaced so that they will fit. And I do have a theory that I've already checked out a bit. And we're going to see if it, if it works out. And I have noticed something about the installation that just came up. There we go. Tangle it a bit. 
that does come up a little more often than I would have hoped. Make sure you plug it in well. And this is actually one of those times where it does come up. All right, just two of the four controllers has lit up, indicating they're charging. And sometimes this may change. It might be how I'm inserting it. And inserting it. And this again, there's been, there have been times where I plug this in and I would get three charging up. This one would be charging up, but this first one would not be. And I would move this over to the USB 3.0 and I have charge. For some reason, I'm supposing this one will not be charging, but then other times I boot it up and this one is charging. This one is not charging. It's a little finicky, and I'm not sure what exactly the reason for that is, because by, by the box, it should just charge. And you can see right now, that is just not the case. And Let's just try that one more time, third experiment, and right now we're getting the same. So this is kind of finicky. Oh, but there is one very, very important thing about this. Took a little bit, but this console is now in standby mode, and the light is still on because it's still getting power, because you can still charge your controllers while it's in standby mode, so this is no different. And the results are the same. There's just the two controllers charging, the other two are not. So right now we're just going to unplug that from there because it's not doing very much good. So as a USB hub for the PS4, kind of mixed results. Two of the ports didn't work, and in the past, they have. So, And I'm talking today, like less than half an hour ago because I've been testing things out, trying to figure out how to do. Alright, so my other theory is that it'll work on the PS3, at least super slim, because the USB ports are spaced just right. And to test it out, just gonna plug it in. And if I can do this right with one hand, All right, had a little bit of a snap to that one. And there is actually a bit of a difference because right off the bat, every single controller is charging. So right now it's actually working a little better on the Super Slim. And I'll actually just turn that off right now because it doesn't need to be on. So if you want to charge your move controllers and actually plug in the camera, you can do that on the Super Slim. On the PS4 that's supposed to be for, I've had issues where two of the controllers weren't even charging, and that's kind of not great. I mean, no right. Instead of having two ports, I have three, because the 3.0 has always worked, as far as I've been concerned. So three is better than two, but it's not what I've been guaranteed five. Works as five on Super Slim, though. So for the Super Slim, it's actually pretty nice. But one of the biggest things uh, you want to consider is the size. All right. As you can see, or probably probably can't see, probably a little easier to illustrate this way, it is it actually goes down lower than the PS3 because this is actually on a TV stand. So it's about a finger's length of space, which is not really a big deal if you just kind of have it hanging over the edge. And, you know, that's it's fine. It's a little ugly, but it works. For the PS4, and I actually am going to plug this back into this, and honestly, it could be the way I'm plugging it in. I could not be plugging it in in a certain way. And this is an instance where I have three going on, and this one isn't. And before, on the PS3, it was. So it might be the way I'm plugging it in. Maybe I'm not doing, putting part of it in right. It's only two ports, and I, it feels pretty, pretty well in there. And I don't want to push it too hard. I don't want to break it. So 
I don't know what's going on with that. But on the PS4, I'm getting three, sometimes four. But here, get a whole finger's length. So this is actually opposite of the problem on the Super Slim, where it goes over a little. This one is under, which is kind of weird, given that there are rubber feet on the bottom, and it does not even touch whatever surface that the console is on. It's very odd. It is kind of finicky. I could not honestly suggest someone get this. It has a nice form factor that I do actually like. I like the form factor. It's kind of cool. It's a little... Uh, I like 32X, so I did enjoy it. The LED is a little annoying. You just cover it up if you want. And that's that that would be solved if you just, you know, cover that one up. But no, I can't really suggest anyone buy it. I can leave it in the description. But there is actually a model that this is longer and it'll sit flush. But then on the Super Slim it would go in even further down and you just have it hanging over, so that may not even be an issue. But there are alternative USB hubs that while not as sleek probably work better. Uh, I'm not sure how authentic the 3.0 port is. It says it, it's colored it, but this kind of product could just kind of say it, but not actually be it. So before I ramble on anymore, I would say don't get this. I'll keep using it, but I wouldn't suggest it. Manjame, out. <laughs>